Hello, my name is Sonnet. I love to talk about crochet and yarn and amigurumi and books and all things spooky. And I'm really excited for today's video because we have a spooky box swap. One of my favorite things about starting a YouTube channel is the fact that I have already made so many amazing friends in the crochet community. It is so fun to be able to share your passion with like-minded people and I am so, so appreciative of that. Not just other creators, but also all of you viewers. I truly do appreciate every single one of you and I really, really love the fact that I get to talk about my favorite hobby with so many cool people. So before we get into the spooky box, I do just want to say a quick thank you to every single one of you. You inspire me every single day to be my true authentic crochet loving self. And the amount of love and confidence that you have given me over the past year and a half has been so overwhelming and I don't know what I would do without you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the spooky box swap. So I am doing a spooky box swap with Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. We did agree to send each other really fun spooky Halloween themed boxes and here we are today to open it up. Shannon is also going to be sharing the video of the box that I sent her over on her channel, so be sure to check that one out too to see what I included in my box to her. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera down and we're gonna go ahead and open this box together. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm excited. Okay, so here I have the box. The box is a little big, so I apologize if there's any portion that you can't see, but Shannon did this adorable job of adding stickers to the box. It says boo right here, just so cute. Shannon and all of you know how much I love Disney. Shannon is also a big Disney fan as well. And so to have all of these Disney villain stickers is really fun. We have Maleficent, who's one of my favorites. We have Diablo as well, which is cool. You do see a lot of Diablo stuff, which is really fun. Diablo is Maleficent's Raven, and I, he's always been one of my favorite characters too, even though he doesn't do much. <laughs> Hades, just so many cool stickers. So thank you so much, Shannon, for decorating this box. So fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. And right on top here, we have what looks to be a scarf. Wow. Oh my gosh, so soft. This is so lovely. I absolutely love the warm plaid. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look so great during fall and spooky time. I love it. I will try it on once we are done opening the box so you can see it on, but oh my gosh, this is so lovely. I, I love it so much. <laughs> So here we have a sweet little note from Shannon. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. It's just a thank you for joining in on the Decade Divas. And there's some spooky stitch markers as a small thank you. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Let's go ahead and take a look at those stitch markers. Stop. Oh my goodness, look at how cool they are. So we have the mirror. We also have the heart with the dagger. Do you guys see a theme here? <laughs> we'll go with this one. You'll get it from here. Here we have the poisoned apple as well as the evil queen. Oh my goodness. So my favorite Disney princess is actually Snow White. I do love the evil queen as well. I mean, so iconic. Those stitch markers are absolutely incredible. I love them so much. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending so much time to find these amazing charms for these stitch markers. I will be using these constantly, all the time. I just, I love them so much. Shannon also knows that I do love tea. So here we have some cinnamon apple herbal tea from Bigelow. Then we have some mad tea party black tea, which is so fun. A good cup of black tea, I think is my favorite. And then we have a vanilla chai, which is great. I am a big chai fan. So I just love warm beverages and these are perfect flavors. I love a good cinnamony flavor. I think that is my favorite when it comes to teas and things. 
things, you know, just a very fall autumn time flavor. And then of course, can't go wrong with some black tea. Here we have an adorable card and there is this little kind of like mermaid ghost sticker on there. And I do love that Shannon put it on with tape. That way I can use the sticker or put it in like a sticker notebook, all of those fun things. So that is super cute. I love that. And we have an adorable card that says on Halloween, you can be anything you want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Inside is a ton of stickers and they're all like Disney villains. So we have a ton of the evil queen. Oh my gosh. So fun. Boo to you and you and you. Then we have the Sanderson sisters. Who doesn't love the Sanderson sisters? Oh my goodness. That is so funny. I love that sticker. That is so cool. I love the art style. Very, very cartoony, very fun. Then we do have some Wednesday Adams stickers. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? My child is obsessed with Wednesday right now. <laughs> so fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then of course the, the hag. How fun is that? And this is so cute that she included the sticker of her as Maleficent. And there I am as the evil queen. Oh my gosh, how fun. I love this one. This one is so cool. Oh, in the mirror. Oh my gosh, so fun. I love it. Thank you so much, Shannon, for the amazing card. Already, you have done so much. Your box is incredible already. The amount of time and dedication you have put inside is so special and I can't thank you enough. It really truly does mean a lot to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of this yarn. Oh my goodness. Here we have the Hirschner's Worsted Halloween Sparkle Yarn. I have always wanted to try Hirschner's yarn, but I never have. There's just a couple of reasons I've never gotten around to ordering it, but this is amazing. So this is 92% acrylic and 8% polyester and this is the color sorcerer which i love i think this is my favorite color in the entire line i just love the oranges and the purples and reds so cool i i have so many thoughts about this yarn like what i could use this yarn for this yarn just screams sarah sanderson to me and sarah was always my favorite sanderson sister i love just how clueless she is half the time and i just really connect with that for some reason i don't know i just love sarah let's take a look at some of this other yarn here we have yarn b comfy classic in gold oh my goodness how fun this is 48 percent viscose 30% polyester and 22% nylon. I have used this yarn before and I do like this one a lot. I like it for garments and things like that. And I do love warm colors. So oranges and yellows and things, those are my go-to. And here we have another skein of that in this kind of burnt orange, which is really nice. What color is this? This is the color clay. Oh my gosh, those two colors together, I don't think there's anything more autumn than that. And then lastly, we have the Comfy Classic in black. So fun. All of those colors together. So Halloween, so fall. These are like my color palette. I love it so much. Lastly, for yarn, we have Premier Sweet Roll in the color Vivid. Look at how fun is that. Now, I don't think I've ever used this yarn before. This is in the color Glow Worm. Very fun. <laughs> and that is some bright yarn. Holy cow. This screams the 80s, which is pretty fun being a child born in the 80s i i don't know i just i feel kind of connected to these colors <laughs> all right now we have a mug and it looks like it is packaged really well which is fun oh my gosh ah, <laughs> ah look at it oh that is amazing that is incredible it is a haunted mansion mug it says foolish mortals Oh my goodness gracious, how incredible is this? If it is not clear how much I love the Haunted Mansion, maybe my Haunted Mansion tattoo would help, but also there is a little bit of Haunted Mansion in every single one of my videos. 
every single one of them. I could just see me and my husband having a fun little, no, I'm using that mug today. No, that mug is for me today. <laughs> this is definitely going to get a ton of use in our home. So I actually do also decorate my house very Haunted Mansion-esque during Halloween time. And so this is amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. And there are some goodies in here. So let's see, what do we got? Oh, my Disney sidekick. So we did fill out a fun little survey and we talked about Disney sidekicks and favorite Disney villains and Disney characters and things like that. So this is a little piece that is representative of my sidekick. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I knew it. Ah, <laughs> oh, one of my favorite ones. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh wow, so we have an up stitch marker. If it's not clear, I love up. You probably have noticed that because I have an entire like half sleeve to two dedicated to up. And my Disney sidekick, of course, has to be Doug because who doesn't love Doug? Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Oh, wow. You have no idea how important up is to me and my life and especially my marriage. That was a big part of mine and my husband's engagement. We did dance to married life as our first dance at our wedding. I have an entire up sleeve. <laughs> it's, it's a very important film to me. And so this just brings tears to my eyes. Ooh, okay. And so we have some more fun. What is this? Ooh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin antibacterial hand gel. Very nice. I like to keep these in my car for like when I get gas and things. <laughs> and it smells very nice. <laughs> it smells very fall. So might as well put some of that on, right? Can't be too protected from germs. <laughs> Ooh, that smell really hits you at the end there. I like it. It's so good. Um, oh, and then we have some Nightmare Before Christmas socks. How fun. We have some Sally socks and some Jack Skellington socks. So in addition to the Haunted Mansion, my home is also decorated with the Nightmare Before Christmas at Halloween time and really just any time. You guys know how much I love Oogie Boogie. And so Nightmare Before Christmas is a big part of my everything. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have some glow in the dark nail polish. How nice. This is so fun. I'm always so self-conscious in videos because of my nails, to be quite honest. So I see a ton of YouTube videos and just crochet artists and things that actually have beautiful, long, just glamorous nails. And I wish I could be that person, but I just can't. I do play the ukulele and I just, I can't possibly have long fingernails. Plus I live in a very dry climate and so my fingers get wrecked. You can see the beginning of it now, especially that the drier seasons are coming up. My fingers get trashed. So I do what I can with nail polish to try and make my hands presentable. <laughs> so this is gonna be really fun because here we have some glow in the dark nail polish and that's just gonna be really cool, really fun and plus, my kiddo loves when I paint her nails and she would be so excited to have glow in the dark nail polish. I'm still just so excited about this mug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we also talked about our favorite Disney villain. Now you guys know who my favorite Disney villain is. I actually have quite a lot of them, but we'll see which one is represented in this package. Oh my gosh, it's a bag. Oh, it's for grocery bags. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? How? fun is that I'm actually going to put scrunchies in here to be honest but here's Oogie Boogie oh how fun I love him I love Oogie Boogie and so here we have this fun Oogie Boogie grocery bag holder now to be honest our state no longer allows plastic grocery bags so I actually don't have a ton of them but one thing I do have a ton of is scrunchies and I feel this would be perfect to put scrunchies in and then I can just pull them out from the bottom. Oh my gosh, yes. And it can then hang alongside all of my Oogie Boogie decor in my room. And so it'll absolutely fit in there. Oh, look at this. There's a scrunchie in there. <laughs> perfect. See, so this is my idea. So I put the scrunchie in there. Yeah, I, I seriously have a ton of them and they'll all be in there, right? And then when I need one, pull it out. And there we have a scrunchie. Ooh, your Disney prince or princess. 
Okay, I see what it is. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. <gasps> what? Oh, how cool is this? So here we have Snow White. My favorite Disney princess is Snow White. Oh my gosh, she is just iconic. She is the iconic Disney princess in my opinion. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on about why I feel that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is one of the best Disney films, but we won't get into that because I would be a real nerd if I got into that. But look at this amazing bag. I had a bunch of these when my kiddo was a baby, um, the, this kind of material, and it was really nice for wet things, but I imagine I'll probably be using this for crochet and travel. I definitely plan to use this for crochet projects or whatnot. Oh my gosh, I love it. She's so iconic. <laughs> I love, love, love Snow White. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. We also have a couple of fun glittery pencils, which is super fun. Always needing pencils, especially when doing sketches and things. So that's handy. Thank you so much for those. Oh, and this looks like it is a crochet hook. This is fun. It's in these um, kind of pipes and you pull this, I think, to get the, the hook out of there. Let's see. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Dyes, dyes, dyes. Is it dyes or dyes? Dyes crochet. This is a 6.5 and this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It does say on here Jupiter, I believe is the name. So this is a resin hook. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Nice ergonomic handle. Let me put the little, little thing there. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is lovely. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. I love the colors too. That's just like Halloween. That's, it's a Halloween hook, basically. <laughs> and a 6.5 is one of those nice sizes that I use a lot when I'm using thicker yarns and things. So, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I missed some yarn. <laughs> Here we have another comfy classic in the color olive. So again, we have some really fun autumn fall colors. Oh my gosh, how fun. All right, we have a couple more things. What is in here? This one is packaged really fun. Oh wow, look how cute. Look at these darling cookie cutters. These are so fun. Now I know Shannon had mentioned she put some stuff in the box so that I could have, you know, things to do with my kiddo. And this is great. This would be really fun for using to help carve pumpkins. <laughs> I think that would be really fun for the kiddo to help to use to carve pumpkins. And of course, also for cookies. The kiddo will be on a fall break next week. So that's going to be really fun. We're going to have a lot of time for her and I to just hang out and enjoy the Halloween spooky season. And so making cookies, absolutely. That is on the list now because these are just so fun. I love them. That little bat, so cute. This one says Wormswort. Wormswort. What is in here? Oh, how beautiful. Rub and sniff scented colored pencils. Oh, how fun are these? Look at how gorgeous those are. Lifelines essential oil blends. 10 colored pencils infused with essential oil blends. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Damp earth after a rainstorm. That sounds cozy. Sparkling ice cold lemonade on a hot day. What does that smell like? Probably very citrusy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to open these up and smell them right now. Oh wow. These are so fun. Okay. So the box says rub and sniff. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's look at this one. Dancing in the summer rain. Okay. Rub. Got it. And then let's sniff. <laughs> oh, that's a fun. Sorry, smell a vision is not a thing, so you can't experience this with me. But let's see, what is this one? This one was um, pine needles blanketing a forest trail. Absolutely, my favorite scent. Falling leaves on a crisp autumn day. Definitely not a crisp autumn day today, kind of warm, but let's see what falling leaves on an 85 degree day smell like let's see okay wow that's interesting that one smells nice these are so fun i love these 
I also feel like this is going to be something really fun to do with my kiddo. She is very much into art. And when she gets home from school every day, she is doing art. Ooh, this one says Deadly Nightshade. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Oh, wow. Look at these pens. <gasps> oh, they're so glittery. Ah. Okay, so I think these are like Halloween themed pens. Okay, so this one is True Crime Thursday. I love the blue. Not gonna lie, I am not a true crime person. Um, it makes me very uncomfortable to consume <laughs> that kind of content. Um, I will be giving this one to my sister though, just because uh, this is her line of work. So <laughs> I will be giving this to her and she can, she can have that pen. But it is beautiful. I love the blue for sure. Now this one is definitely one I'm excited for. This is Witchy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? These pens are so cute. I love them. We have Twisted Tuesday. <laughs> That's fun. Ooh, that orange is so pretty. I love it. <gasps> Twisted Tuesday. Heck yes. Morbid Monday. Interesting. Morbid Monday. That red glitter. Gorgeous. Serial Killer Saturday. Wow, I love the um, the white and the iridescent, very beautiful. This is also one that I will be gifting to my sister. Spooky Friday, absolutely, 100%. And that green, oh my gosh, that is so lovely. <laughs> and this one is my absolute favorite. We have Supernatural Sunday, listen. <laughs> I do love a good Sunday. I love supernatural things, but more than that, I just love supernatural. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel, but I am probably one of the biggest supernatural fans you will ever find. Next to getting married to my husband and the birth of our daughter and fun things, this is probably one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how excited I am in this picture. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. I love this. So fun. I will be using this pen every single day because <laughs> every day is a supernatural day. If you're into supernatural, what's your favorite supernatural episode and what is your favorite supernatural season? I'm curious. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so <laughs> you do have a couple of options. Those are so amazing. I love them so much and they do feel like quality pens, which is really fun. So thank you so much for that. Frog's breath. <gasps> nothing's more suspicious than frog's breath. Very fun. Look at this adorable Halloween gnomes coloring book. How cute is this? Oh, I love it. This is going to be so fun to use with the colored pencils. And again, this is a really fun activity for me and the kiddo. We also do bring a ton of coloring books out with us in public. And it just kind of helps if the kiddo is feeling a little antsy. She gets to coloring. So this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that. How fun is that? And then this is the last thing in the box. Uh, it looks like it's a towel set based off of the description. Let's open that up and see. Oh, so fun. They're like these little um, kind of like, I don't know, are they microfiber towels? They feel like microfiber towels. Those are so cute. And I do like that the double side, there's the double sides. Oh my goodness gracious. This will be so fun in our downstairs bathroom. I'm constantly losing the towels that are in there. <laughs> so these will be the perfect addition. Oh my gosh, I love them. And you know what? I'll probably keep them up like all year long just because they're really cute. And you can have ghosts around all year long, right? <laughs> and there was the swap box. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. What do you think of the scarf? <laughs> I love the color and it's kind of like a square scarf. So it's just, it's really versatile in what you can do to like style it and whatnot. Oh my gosh, knowing me, I'll probably just ball myself up in it because I get really cold really easy. But I did want to say an extra special thank you again to Shannon over at the Spoonie Stitcher that was so amazing your generosity and the love and dedication you put into the box was so incredible and it made me so so happy 
But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please, please, please go check out Shannon over at the Spoonie Stitcher. There is some amazing content that is not just crochet and crafting related. There is a ton of wonderful things over there, but I love you all so much. You are so, so wonderful. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.